Hello, and welcome to episode 16 of our Let's Roleplay Crusader Kings 2 as the Sa'adid Dynasty. We are the Sultans of Aragon. And we've also got actually hold a fair bit more than just Aragon. We've also got Navarra and Galicia and a little bit of Portugal. And I should say, we are Sultan Hafiz, who's had this job since he is, was a child. He's now 18. And, well, he's a misguided warrior, a zealot, charitable, and lazy. His focus is on war. He's actually a decent general, but not great. But his main ambition would be to take the Christian kingdom of Asturias so that we would have a Islamic Iberia. We are, of course, vassals of the Umayyad Empire. Our cousin, Fadl, is the Badshah. And then my other cousins are a brilliant strategist. She's better than me, so we'd better marry her to somebody. Uh, Duke of Gascon, you'll do. And I've obviously got an open council position, a quarter man. Um, Mayor of Sasak. And I think my realms are entirely sunny, so there's no way for me to go convert people. So you can just research cultural technology in my capital. Okay, and how are we looking? Um, what's the size of my military here? Well, just shy of 8,000 should be enough to defeat this guy, but I've got a truce with him for a while. How do I look up... Um, I've completely forgotten. Oh, here it is. A truce with Caliph Halil? Doesn't have a truce with me, apparently. So can I declare war on this guy? No, I do have a truce until 901. Cost me 800 prestige. I've, oh, no, I do have 800 prestige, so I could actually do it. But we'll wait. It's only... Was it 901? A few years away? And we've got 385 gold. We'll probably need some for mercenaries, although we've got a huge army, and I imagine this guy doesn't. Uh, round tree. 4,300, so I've got a pretty huge numerical advantage. But... I'll get one. Oh no, we're already getting stables. Um, I'm just wondering whether I should buy a barracks or something to get me a few more troops. Or whether I should hold on to that money in case I do need mercenaries. It's probably better to hold on to it for now. Especially since it will be at least two holy wars. Yeah, one for Leon and one for Asturias before we can take that land. And we can arrest somebody. Mir Maldras of Lugo. What's he doing? He's trying to kill Wali Hassam of Barbastro. Uh, end your plot. Hopefully he's going to do it. And then I won't have to arrest him. Oh, good. I will forgive him just because I'm lazy and I don't want to hold a grudge. It's too much effort. Not enough car cost me. All my ter oh no, these ones have 8.4. I was going to say all my territories have 8.2 base tax, but now our corona hits 8.4. These are stables in Abrasin. But Shafadl of the Umayyad Empire claims to have proof that I have slandered him. He promises to keep this himself if I promise to stay out of all factions. I'm not in a faction. Um, charitable with zealots. There's nothing in here that will do anything, but I think because lazy, no choice to agree. We're not in a faction anyway, so it's easy to agree not to join a faction when you're not in one. What a dick, though. Being like, making stuff up. Well, I might have slandered him. I don't know what I do. Malige. Since I've arrived in Alparasan, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. That's good, we need another hundred or so before we go to war. Lots of cavalry, that's excellent. And a few pikemen, heavy infantry. 57 of my camel cavalry. I think this is 500 camel cavalry here. Actually, can I get more retinue? No. Oh, what's this? 
Second Umayyad Holy War for Asturias. Okay. Well, we're not going to do the same mistake as last time. We'll let the Umayyads take Asturias and we'll take Leon. In a couple of years, when the truce ends. It'll be even easier for us because the Umayyads will have defeated their armies, you'd have to assume. Oh, Vikings. Let's go fight them. Um, we'll raise all the troops from around here. And when they start marching, we'll raise... Oh, we don't have any left in there. Oh, well, let's just see if we can catch them. I'm just kind of hoping my camel cavalry will be enough to... Nope. Okay, everybody go home. Educate child. Um, my half-brother must be educated by Sheikh Abdul. Oh, whatever. From my sister is legal age, intricate woodweaver, the Emir of Basra. I really like playing as a lazy ruler because you can just do the first thing that's there. Somebody suggests something? Yeah, that sounds fine. Oh, this person's a emir. It'd be fine for my sister to marry. How are my children doing? Two years old. Now I've got two wives. Hmm, that's cool. Oh no. I tried to sit up in bed, but someone is holding me down. It's the burly armsman with the trustworthy face I promoted to the guard last week. Another assailant is trying to force a rag into my mouth, holding my nose too. Can't breathe. And we're dead. Well, that is awful. He, like, came to adulthood just to die in the exact same way that his father died. Anyway, we are Sultan Mukhtar, and we have no idea who killed him. I mean, this guy... Prince Akin would have to be the leading candidate. Just because he's the only person that really stands to the yeah, Prince of Arms in prison, so it can't be him. So Prince Akin was probably the guy that killed me then. And now we are stuck being a miner again. Which just means we can't do much. Um, I might still go to war though. Who's my regent? My spy master, Sheikh Sadiq of Kalitiud. A betrothed can marry. I apparently can't prove it. There we go. Oh, we've got to auto save before we can say yes. Um, accept. I'm only two, so it's going to take a long time before I'm 16. Oh well. Do I have any traits so far? I have a stutter. That's alright. Um, what kind of regent do we have? Oh, he's quick. Uh, envious, humble, charitable, cruel, and gluttonous. Amir Alim. Uh, reckons my chief caddy's not good enough. You want this other person to be the job? Oh, uh, whatever. I think... I can't read. I have no idea who the previous Chief Cardi actually was. But hopefully I got two Amirs to like me a bit better there. Let's send our army to chase down this guy. Sheikh Araf the Spider likes me more. That's good. I should be actually trying to get my vessels here. Yeah. The Emir of Navarra, well, he's in prison, so I don't really have to worry about him. A Sheikh of Santiago hates me. Uh, anybody important here? The Emir of Portugal doesn't like me. The only real support I have is the Emir of Barcelona, so I'll go get the Emir of Valencia to like me a bit better. I believe that's him. Sheikh, Sheikh. Okay, where is the Emir of Valencia? Um, his holding is the Sheikdom of Porto. 
So his way over here. Oh, I've got a new regent. My marshal. Good, that means we'll definitely be going to war. Oh, he's a genius. Gregarious, deceitful, humble, greedy, diligent, kind, a zealot as well. He's a brilliant strategist. What's this? The very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded His Holiness Pope Silverius III to declare his intention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of God. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. Foolish posturing. The Teutonic Order has been founded. The Order of Brothers of the German House of St. Mary in Jerusalem has been formed, sponsored by the Catholic Church and Holy Roman Emperor. The Teutonic Order, much like the Knights of St. John and Knights Templar, primarily protect and care for pilgrims to the Holy Land, but will serve any Catholic ruler willing to pay for their upkeep. Being a religious order, they will only fight against heretics and infidels. The Knights of Calatrava have been formed. Um, okay, they might fight against F for Leon here. Knights of Santiago. Knights of St. John. No Knights Templar yet. Or was it? Knights of St. John, I can't remember. Anyway, I can't hire any of these because I'm of the wrong religion. And we have no holy orders yet. Oh yeah, there's the army of Hochmeister Elfwerd. So that would be Teutonic Knights, probably. Well, that gun's going to make taking this land a bit more challenging. Or is that... I don't know. Another 4,000. I think those are the Knights of St. John. Crusade for Aquitaine. So Aquitaine... Actually, I've got part of Aquitaine. But... So the Pope's declaring a crusade for the Kingdom of Aquitaine. I really don't want to have a big, powerful Christian kingdom on my northern border, so I might actually get involved in this war. Since, you know, my regent is a zealot and a brilliant strategist, so he wouldn't allow our northern border to become a hostile state. Um, oh, we've actually won that war. Good. Um, so we'll send... Oh, can I not join the war? I can declare war on him. How do I join the crusade? Present revolt of Bordeaux. Catholic crusade for Aquitaine. Oh, there's the Pope. Well, are you winning the war? So far it's even. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to assume that for some reason I can't join the war. But I could go fight those rebels, which would help them out a little bit. Actually, it looked like I think the Christians fought the rebels there for me. What's my name? Mokhtar. And we've made it to three. Only 13 more years to go. Okay, 96 ripples to fight. And I think we just killed them all. Yep. So we'll get our retinue back home, and then we're going to go and try and take Leon. Oh, there are actually lots of Vikings here. Oh cool, we've actually joined in the crusade. Um, should we delay our war for Asturias while we fight the crusade? I think we will actually. Oops. Oh, they can lose to the Vikings.
totally forgot that there were Vikings sitting on Corona. But, well, a few hundred soldiers weren't going to make a big difference anyway. At least I hope they weren't. Maybe I should go fight the Vikings. I killed five of them. Yeah, let's go get our army to sit here. Of course, we won't actually catch them. They'll be able to get on their boats well before we arrive. So now let's just go and fight the Crusade. Or fight against the Crusade, whichever way you want to say it. Hmm. Lots of Crusaders, but we've got 7,500 soldiers ourselves, so we should do all right here. And the Umayyads have got 8,500 in front of us. Are those 4,000 more Umayyads? I don't see any Aquitanians around. Well, let's march on Bordeaux. Let these guys catch up later on. And what's happening here? Who holds this land? Asturias holds it. We'll better go help the Umayyads here. They're quite heavily outnumbered. And our forces will tip the balance easily in our favour and win a battle against the county of Bern. Um, those look like Teutonic Knights there. Um, so where's actually someone for me to fight? Catholic Crusade, yes. We've lost a few battles. There's 200 soldiers from the Isle of Man. Who will die here? Oh, no, they won't. They'll die slightly further down the coast. And the Vikings looted some money from me. Oh well. That looks like the Umayyads are sending 11,000 soldiers to get rid of them, so that was nice of you, Umayyads. And there's not an army here worth actually fighting. I mean, 500 soldiers way up in the north here. Oh, there we go. For a second there we were fighting the Asturians. But it seems like Asturias and Aquitaine have got their own separate war going on. Which I'm not a part of. Um, Asturian Holy War for Aquitaine. And King Bernardo the Liberator of Asturias is winning that. Wrath of the Old Gods. In response to the new era of Crusades and Jihads amongst the Abrahamic monotheists, the great high priest Iltabar has informed all Tengri shamans of his plans for a magnificent Tengri pagan response. In fact, all pagan heads of religions may now declare great holy wars. This could be the beginning of unprecedented heathen aggression. Lock up your son and daughter. Okay, uh, Tengri faith is miles away from us, as in I think over here would be the nearest Tengri kingdoms. So that's a future threat. Catholicism is a much closer threat to us. Oh, those are papal soldiers. We should go fight them as quickly as we can. Oh no, here we go, 1600 from Grosson and Bern. So there sure are a lot of countries fighting against us. Yes, there are. And so far we're winning on war score, but they're winning on battles. Battle of Belak, minus 17%. So if it wasn't for that one battle, we'd be winning this quite easily. But this is kind of what Crusades are like as defending. You just crush one army, then crush the next, and then fight another. And that did no change in the war score, but we gained prestige and some military technology and piety, so that's good. Down here and fight the Pope's army. Or the army of Cardinal Bassanio. Uh, Chief Cardi issues again. Leave it, I don't care. 
Like, seriously, Chief Cardi is just a reason for all your nobles to bitch about whoever your Chief Cardi is, and it does nothing. Okay, 29 soldiers from the Isle of Man. Or the Isle of Man. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. And my vessel is getting pissed off because its soldiers have been away too long. Oh. Some raiders up there. The Vikings, they won't actually help the Holy War at all. Can I go and start occupying some of this land? Just see if any of their neighbours happen to be at war in the Holy War? Nope. At times you can't shake the feeling that your regent, Sheikh Abdul of Santiago, does not always have your best in mind. Claiming it will build character, he has given you the dangerous task of scrubbing away bird droppings from the castle roof. If you lose your balance even once. So in other words, this dude's trying to kill me. Whatever. Isn't this what servants are for? And Sultan Mukhtar is dead. Long live Sultan Khalil. At least he's 13. Not oh, he's kind. They'll murder you so quickly. And now Prince Akin is the heir. Or heir. Oh. Sultan Musa's dad. Wait. Yes, Sultan Musa's is Sultan Musa's son, I should say. Okay. The Emir of Porto. and uh, he's actually not the Emir of Porto, he's the Emir of uh, Valencia likes me a bit better. I would like to educate a child, but I can't because I'm still a minor. Oh hey, we're winning the Holy War now. Or the Crusade, we should say. The Knights of Santiago? Won't catch them in time. Oh, but we do fight those Bavarians. County of Brescia. Won another battle there, this time on Christian soil. Another one. And hopefully we'll catch the Knights of Santiago here. And Friulian soldiers are heading down towards us, but they're running away now. Which is fair enough, I've just destroyed three armies in a row. Who's that? Grissons and Lombardy? Probably gonna kill them next. This is adding nothing to the war score. Battles are still negative nine. Well, whatever, I'm destroying my enemies. Well, this battle is actually a fight. Count Ragnambald the Spider. Well, I defeated it. Again, it added nothing to war school, but I gained prestige and piety. And keep getting military technology. Uh, the Pope's heading down to Foire. Let's see how I'm doing technology wise. Nothing. Actually, military were not going to have anything for a while. Looks like shipbuilding will be next. I need another 230, which I'm gaining at a rate of like 0 0.8 per battle. I've inherited the Willia of Orgaz. That's cool. Ah. It's way over here in the actual capital of the Badsha Empire, uh, Umayyad Empire. I see no reason to dismiss my chief Kadi, I am kind. I do not sack people just because people want to whine about them. Can I get more retinue? No. Would be nice, but no. Oh, three and a half thousand, this will be a decent fight. The Friulian troops actually managed to join up with the Pope. But they're retreating to Toulouse, which actually works in my favour. Oh, 10,000 Ulmaids got there before me. Tertusha is Andalusian. Cool, we're getting technology from Constantinople. Which looks like economy, but not enough to get any advances. Okay, I think we've actually won this war pretty well. Who's my regent now? 
Let's do the marshal. So I'm thinking I'll just send my army back home, and then we'll go to war with Asturias. And hopefully it'll be enough to actually win this war for the Aquitanians as well. Well, effectively it will, because we'll crush their army and take their land. So they can concentrate more fully on winning the Crusade, which is far more important. Oh, my half-sisters arrived at my court. She's 33 and unmarried. So we'll marry her to somebody. Prince of the Arabian Empire. It's actually a pretty good match for a 33-year-old. Holy War for Leon. And I'll get all my soldiers. Oh, we're fighting there. Okay, I wasn't expecting that because I didn't even realise there were soldiers there, but we'll send them this way. See if we can't win this battle. Mm, doesn't look like it, no. Okay. Well, we can meet over here. Oh, and these 13 will have to fight their way through, so we'll just help them out a little bit here. Who are we fighting now? Asturians, 17 of them, went out to intercept us. My cousins, Intricate Weaver, -weep I don't care. Oh, I captured the Count of Corsica. And 6,000 Aquitanian troops have just shown up. This war is going bad. I'd better hire some mercenaries. Uh, mercenaries, here we go. I could actually hire the really expensive ones. The Mamluks. Um, maybe I should. I won't be able to, I'll be able to pay them for like two months though. So let's get the Arab company instead. And we'd better pull back from here. And... Yep. Hmm. This is a problem. Let's just get everyone to march on Leon. At least I'm doing my thing of helping out Aquitaine a bit. Since I've taken six and a half thousand soldiers off their hands, or enemies off their hands. But I just can't get my armies together to beat these guys. Okay, they're marching to Fiskaya. That's good. It gives me a bit of time. They're obviously going to chase down those 837, which aren't actually enough to do anything. So I might send them on a bit of a wander around the country to Albarassan. Then see if there are any more soldiers to... Yep. And you three can just disband. So how many soldiers does this give me? 5,389. A lot of whom are mercenaries. And we have very low morale because we've of course only raised this army. So we're actually going to need more mercenaries. We've already got the Arabs. Anybody here particularly cheap? No, except for the ones that are already under strength. So the Turi Company, uh, Berbers. And hopefully, when will you arrive? 9th of November, and you will arrive on the 3rd of November. Uh, do I have an organizer in here to make them go a little bit quicker? Nope. I do not. Okay then. Hmm, could call in my allies, that might help. I don't have many allies.
Okay, someone's joined me at least. 15th of December, you'll... I'll be outnumbered. Well, I'm not going to fail to fight them anyway, so we'll just sit tight in Alberus and... And actually, while they're fighting Kilitude, we'll go kill those 500 in Saragusta. Just so that the death of those guys wasn't for nothing. Oh no, we're not going to kill them. We'll instead have to fight a defensive battle here, but hopefully the river will give us a bonus. Okay. Camilla bint Abdulaziz is of legal age. I'll marry her to somebody. Um, I'm kind, so let's marry her to a 21 year old. As opposed to a 50 something year old. What could those guys give me a chance to escape? Um, 21st of January, if I march straight there, it'll be the 13th. So let's just do that. We want to get as far away as quickly as we can. Inherited the Mosque of Barbastro. Well, that's up in Alto Aragon, where my army is. Okay. Man, their army's even reinforcing quicker than mine. So they're obviously not going to come fight me up in the hills. At least I don't think they are. We're still winning the crusade. Oh, why do I have 891 gold? I should hire even more mercenaries. Maybe I should hire the Mamluks just for a little while. Yeah. Got four months. So it goes to 28th. Mm, it's not worth the risk. You can go to Urgel, you can go to Larida. And with the Mamluks plus all my other mercenaries, we should be able to crush these guys pretty quickly. I just need the Mamluks to get a bit more morale. So they'll actually stand in battle against the Crusaders. So there's Knights of Santiago and the Teutonic Knights it looks like. Okay, we've used most of our gold up. 11,600 should give us a decent advantage. Can't, still don't have an organiser. So we're going to need this army to move quickly before I run out of money. Because, of course, if the Mamluks declare war on me, I'm basically screwed. Actually, I might as well send all my soldiers home. Because they're not really contributing anything. Okay. Looks like we're going to... Possibly have the Mamluks revolt here. We're going to go negative for a little while. Okay, who is this? The Arab Company has revolted, but the Mamluks are still on our side. They didn't revolt, they just broke our contract. But hopefully the Mamluks will hang around long enough for us to win this battle. And hopefully we win this battle, because we look like we're losing. Bugger, we lost. Okay, well, I'm going to have to send the mercenaries home because I've got no money to pay them. Which means I now have 50 soldiers in the field. Well, obviously we've lost this war. Want to accept a white piece? I will have to pay him a ton of money. And there, kill my last 50 soldiers. And now we have negative 640 gold. So, for the foreseeable future, we are going to be paying off our debts, which are considerable. And of course there are thieves everywhere, and things are just going to be awful. And now I'll see why the Asturians were struggling to deal with the Aquitanians there. Uh, not the Aquitanians, the Astur uh, Aquitanians were struggling to deal with the Asturians, they just had so many soldiers. 
Although it looks like they're bankrupt as well. Or at least they've got Highway Robber Band, Smuggler's Ring and Thieves Guild in their capital. Educate Herald, yep. Oh cool. Regency is over. We are a naive appeaser. Uh, choosing our focus. Well, we're kind. Naive appeaser. Just thinks like diplomacy should be our thing. I actually kind of think family. Oh, got nothing to go on. Maybe one of those two. Let, uh, let's go... Well, I went closer to carousing, so carousing it'll be. Oh, it's not Muslim. So, family. Easy choice, then. And our ambition. Well, if our family's our focus, it has to be get married. And the Princess of Espana? That'll do. And thieves all through my kingdom. New ambition, and we have to get rid of one. Oh, has to be a son. Carry on our name is our new ambition. We're going to get rid of one. Uh, it's immense. It should be Barbastro, the Mosque of Barbastro. So, who... Do we have any friends? We've got rivals. Nope. Um, siblings are mostly dead. Yeah. Prince Akin. Um, this guy. Invite to court? No, you wouldn't. Oh, we'll just have to give it to someone from our court. Who likes me the most? This guy. You can be the Mosque of Barbastro. You can be the Mosque. You can rule the Mosque of Barbastro. Oh, council position. Steward. Yes, we'll need a steward. We need lots of money. And it has to be Shamir, the Wali of Lawar. Just because he'll get that up to 11, which will give us even more money. And a better chance of him collecting taxes in Albarasin. Doing alright technology-wise? Yep. Are these part of the crusade occupying my country? Maybe I should go fight them. I do actually have enough soldiers to do it. And ooh, lots of Vikings down that side of the country. Um, so let's just try and find a way to get everyone into Albarasin without anybody having to fight a stupid battle for no reason. Oh, no, it didn't last very long. The Knights of Santiago are over here. Vikings, Vikings. It looks like the Umwades are going to fight that battle for me. Well, whatever, we can go fight the Crusade anyway. I accept that these are costing us money. So let's send our soldiers home. We need the money more than we need some to help Aquitaine win their war. Because they're winning quite well by themselves. There's still five and a half thousand Australian soldiers there. Caliph Mubarak is the new Caliph. Any interesting plots here? Nah. Could borrow some money from the Jews, but I don't think that's really necessary. Okay.
the Umwaids here, they outnumber all the Christian armies by three to one, and the Christian armies are scattered all throughout the country. Actually, maybe only two to one, but still, with the way they're scattered, um, the Umwaids should be able to defend this country no problems. Oh, that's right, I've got some guy as a prisoner. I should ransom all of these guys. And banish you for gold, that would be good. Uh, he seems to be offered to buy some land of mine, give me 200 gold, and give this dude the Emirate of Galicia. Uh, sure, actually. You can have it, I am kind, I need the money. And oddly enough, I actually kept our corona from that, so I didn't actually lose anything other than that title. Banish this woman, gets me 48 gold. The Mazdaki faith is triumphant. The adherents of the Zoroastrian faith have steadily dwindled to the point where Mazdaki believers are in the majority. Uh, Zoroastrian faith is a de facto heresy. All former Zoroastrian orders are now Mazdaki. And why can't I ransom Mukhtar? Probably just doesn't have enough money. Okay, we've got down to negative 83. Which is pretty good. Which of this guy hates me now, though, because I hold Akron. No, he still likes me. That's good. His sons will hate me. What's happened here? Asturias took that land. So, that's very unfortunate for Aquitaine. And unfortunate for me, because Asturias is now even more powerful. What can I possibly do against the Holy Orders? Just get a lot more soldiers. And half the problem, well, the big problem there was that they were already in the field, whereas my guys had low morale, they were unorganised and scattered. Whereas if I had have got all my soldiers together, if I'm not actually getting a lot from my demands, am I really bad militarily? Yes, I am. But then having said that, I'm a kind, family-focused person. I don't really think I'm going to want to go for lots of holy wars. In fact, I think I'm going to get another wife. Actually, let's get all the wives, or as many as we can. Well, you'd be good, but you're only two years old. Um, high stewardship. Uh, let's get high... this one. Clara. Make a fine wife. Your decadent ways and lack of devotion to Allah, glorified and exalted be he, can no longer be tolerated. After consulting with my master, Bad Shah Fadl, I have reached the conclusion that a fatwa, a fatwa must be issued against you. May you return to the path of righteousness before it is too late. Wow, everybody hates me for the next 36 months. Uh, can I still get married? Cool. Second wife. Just pick people with high diplomacies. Uh, I don't really see any particularly desirable traits there. Okay. I've been spending more time with my wife Clara lately, and though, of course, we did not marry for love, I can tell it is growing between us. Marital bliss is great. I know that I am great and deserve respect. I have gained the power trait. And this picture of my wife here. Why did she make me proud? Kind, zealous, honest, just, charitable, gregarious. Probably the kind of life that, yes, this guy really would like. Okay, but now that it's proud... I would do anything for the family, but it is hard work cultivating loyalty and devotion, not just towards me, but between all the disparate members of our great house. When I'm gone, the harmony and stability I leave behind will be my greatest legacy. Hear me roar, and I've become an underhanded rogue as opposed to a naive appeaser. So, now that we're proud, we should try and marry someone of high rank. Princess of Aquitaine? Um... Genius, but she's still six. Courtiers, courtiers. 
marry at least one princess. Princess of Africa, it's only a few years to wait. And picking up another. This woman. Seems friendly, like my second wife. And I've got one betrothal there, so I should have a huge family. Which I can work on doing my stability thing with. It's assuming that somebody doesn't kill me, like it's happened to lots of other people. Oh, my cousin is my heir. The Valier of Barbastro. 247 soldiers, it's not a lot. And what do you want? To the proud Sultan Khalil, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We have decided to retract the vassalage of Emir Abdul II of Galicia. Failure to accept will lead to war. What? Okay, there's no way I can beat the Umayyad armies. I've only got 5,700 soldiers, plus all these ones here. Another 2,000 over there. I can get a few allies, but I'm just not going to win this war. Uh, decline or accept? We are proud, aren't we? We have to decline. Okay, and this is where the episode's going to end. End. So, we've actually had three sultans this episode, and we've actually done really poorly in our holy war on Asturias, although we did all right in the crusade. But this new war coming up here, it's probably going to hurt us a lot. But, we have to wait till next time and see. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all then.